Peace be upon you and welcome again, dear students, to a new lesson of phonetics. Now, today we'll try to explore another essential feature of the English language and English pronunciation, which is rhythm. Rhythm. Now, the English language is characterized by being a very rhythmic language. It's a very rhythmic language. So, what do we mean by rhythmic? and by rhythm. Now, speaking about rhythm uh, leads us to consider uh, that kind of regular pattern. So when we say rhythm, it means we have regular pattern of beats or movements which occur at the level of mainly the stressed words. Clear? Because the stressed words, which are the content words in speech and in sentence, right, they carry the beats. They carry these beats, uh, of course, uh, with regard to the equal timing between them. Uh, when we uh, weaken the other grammatical and unstressed words, so uh, through uh, these uh, stressed words and the equal timing between them, we have what we call the English rhythm. Uh, the English rhythm. They create English rhythm. Good. Now, as you see here, English rhythm, okay, depends mainly on certain uh, factors, which are number one and mainly sentence stress. As you know, in a sentence stress or in any sentence, we have uh, two types of words: content words, which are usually stressed, and grammar words, which are usually unstressed. So we stress uh, the stress syllables in the content words and we weaken and reduce uh, the syllables of the grammar words. Of course, uh, we uh, devote equal timing between all the stressed words in a sentence, and like this, through these uh, stressed words, uh, the bits we find in those stressed words, and that equal and regular timing between them, we create rhythm in language rhythm in in language and don't forget also that english is also uh, characterized by being uh, a stress timed language stress timed language so here we have two keywords stress it means uh, the beats right of the rhythm fall on the stressed words the content words clear and timed it means there is a kind of equal timing between those content words. So this regular pattern, uh, stressed space, then stressed, then equal space the first one, and so on and so forth, create to me what we call rhythm. Clear? What we call rhythm. Good. Uh, also, another uh, factors which also contribute to uh, the creation of rhythm in the English language, we have the different and the various features of connected speech. Uh, for example, we have pitch, uh, high or low, loudness, uh, also tempo, it means the, the, the speed of pronouncing right uh, the words and syllables uh, in our speech and sentences. And as you know, for example, for the case of grammar words, sometimes we uh, pronounce them quickly, clear, quickly, uh, to uh, guarantee an equal timing between uh, the content words, regardless of the number of uh, uh, syllables in grammar words. If, we, for example, we have uh, two or three, uh, or for example, one, one syllable uh, in the first grammar word and three in the second grammar word, I must pronounce them in equal timing. Okay, in equal and similar time and timing. How? By, for example, uh, speeding up with uh, the polysyllabic uh, grammar word and slowing down with the monosyllabic, uh, for example, grammar word. Clear to create that balance and that equal timing together with the, the beats on the stressed words, I get my rhythm. Clear. Also, we have other factors like intonation also, uh, also uh, illusion, uh, uh, omitting some sounds. Uh, also, linking, joining sounds between words. Uh, also, we have assimilation, changing sounds. 
right? Uh, so all these contribute uh, to create rhythm of the language uh, and to make it sound natural. Okay, to make the English uh, pronunciation and uh, sound natural, clear. So all these elements, mainly sentence first number one, uh, uh, contribute and help us to uh, create and keep the rhythm, uh, the rhythm of the language and those uh, regular bits at the level mainly of the stressed ones. Good. Now, uh, for example, we have also a uh, number of stressed syllables huh? uh, equals the number of bits. For example, when we say the content words carry the bits, it means the number of stressed huh? uh, syllables right, in content words equals the number of, of bits, huh? those regular bits. Huh? Good. Uh, another also important benefit uh, from knowing uh, rhythm of the language and how it is created is that it helps us. It helps us. Sorry, uh, spot the important words in speech. Uh, when we find the bits uh, on certain words which are stressed, I know that these words are the uh, essential words, the important words, the content words, clear, which carry the meaning. Right, while the others which are uh, not stressed, which don't carry any beat, they are secondary, so for example, just for joint running and linking uh, the content words. Clear. So, this is for uh, English in general, right. Now, there are also other languages which are uh, syllable timed languages, like French. French is uh, syllable timed languages. What does it mean? It means uh, it takes the same time, okay, between all types of syllables, whether stressed or unstressed. We devote equal time in between them. Clear? Between them. Whereas in the stressed time languages like English, uh, we devote mainly equal time in between the content words. Clear? But in the French, between all syllables, we have equal time in. Right. Good. Now, also, we have this term rhythm. Uh, it is used also in poetry, huh? Huh? rhythm, rhythmic uh, pattern of poetry. Now here, poetic lines, of course, are analyzed according to that combination or these combinations of stressed and unstressed syllables. In poetic lines, we have stressed and unstressed syllables, which form to be what we call feet. Okay, feet. Now, uh, a set of... of uh, of these feet, okay, right, uh, is going to uh, form to me or give to me what we call meter, meter of the poem. The meter of the poem depends on on uh, those feet, which are composed of stressed and unstressed syllables. Clear. And these form to me this rhythm forms to me also and creates the rhythm of the poem. Clear. Rhythm of the poem. The meters create rhythm of the poem and distinguish one rhythm from uh, another rhythm. Clear? Good. So that's all for uh, our uh, lesson of today. Rhythm. English is a very rhythmic language. Rhythm is the music of English language. We must consider uh, uh, those beats uh, when pronouncing English and we uh, place them on the stressed and content words. Right? In addition to the other features like pitch loudness, intonation, and so on, to give its English its natural right, uh, if you can say uh, spirit, its natural spirit like native speakers. Thank you so much. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, let me help you find your key. Don't forget the bread and milk. Tell me why you don't agree.